Hey, what's up guys? Today I want to show you something really cool. I'm going to set my hand on fire. So my eight-year-old last night decided uh, he was gonna blow some bubbles around the house and uh, I got involved with him blowing some bubbles and it was a lot of fun, we had a good time. But it made me start to think about bubbles and it reminded me of an old experiment that I do uh, pretty much every year for my students and that is to make methane bubbles. Uh, methane, of course, natural gas, the gas that you use to heat your homes. And if we push that uh, natural gas through a solution of bubbles, we can, uh, well, we can have some fun with it. All right, so let me show you what I got going on here, guys. This is just a beaker of bubble solution, and I put some glycerin into our bubbles. Uh, it's, uh, it's dish soap, so the soap that you would use to keep your hands nice and smooth while you're doing those dishes. Uh, put some of that in there, added a little bit of water, and uh, quite a significant amount of glycerin. Maybe uh, this is about 500 milliliters of solution. I'm sorry, this is about 350 milliliters of solution. Can't read right. Um, and so I probably there's maybe 50 milliliters of glycerin in there or so quite a bit because you want your bubbles to be very nice and strong We don't want them to pop easily. We want them to hold their shape uh, So let's go ahead and hook our gas valve up um, I've got uh, just a glass funnel here that I've attached my hose to and uh, So that's how we're using uh, that's how we're pushing the methane into the solution uh, Through this glass funnel and that allows us to make some bubbles. So let me show you uh, Let me show you how this works. It's great all right, so here we go. Let's make some methane bubbles. We'll get our gas bubble in here. We don't want to go too fast. If we go too fast, these bubbles will break. And if they break, then uh, all that natural gas gets let out into the room, which can create a bit of a danger. And we don't want that. We want it to stay inside the bubble so that when we light the bubbles uh, on fire, then, uh, well, it'll be contained. We don't want the entire room exploding. That would be horribly bad. So another thing I want to mention is you definitely should probably not try this at home. Uh, this is a bit of a dangerous thing here. We are using uh, natural gas or methane gas and uh, of course that's highly, highly flammable and very explosive as well. And I sure would hate to hear about some kind of an accident that you had uh, because you tried this at home. So please don't. Uh, let's go ahead and turn the gas off real quick and we'll just do a quick little column here. Uh, because I'm about to run out of frame on my camera, I'll have to move the camera and get a better shot. But uh, this is what we're talking about. You know, one real problem here is that everything is so soapy. Uh, you end up with soap bubbles that fall down everywhere. And so the entire countertop over here are already soapy. I'll show you what I mean here in just a minute. But first, we gotta set this on fire. amazing so I'm going to shut the gas off. Uh, if we just scoop up a bunch of these bubbles uh, we can burn our hands. Yeah, so you just need some bubbles and we can set it all right on fire. Uh, but two things about that. Number one, if you are going to play with fire eventually you're going to get burned. That's just the nature of the beast and uh, so that's something I accepted a long time ago. I've been burned a lot and it's fine. Uh, in fact, right there I just singed the hair on my wrist. Um, but that's not the first time that I did that today, so it's fine, it's just, it's okay. Uh, it'll grow back, it's just hair. Uh, and no, it really doesn't burn when you set your hand on fire. Um, honestly, it's just, it's super fun uh, because you have this nice flame that comes right off your hand.
hope you enjoyed the video. I had a ton of fun making this. I love making methane bubbles and I especially enjoy setting my hand on fire. It's a ton of fun. By the way, my hands are perfectly okay. Nothing wrong with them. Uh, so yeah, please don't try this at home though. It is a bit sketchy and a little dangerous. Uh, I've been doing it a long time and know what I'm doing and how to be safe. So uh, just leave it to me and uh, save yourself from being burned, okay? Because if you play with fire, it's guaranteed you're gonna get burned at some point. Um, fortunately for me, I didn't get burned today. Life is good. So if you guys enjoyed the video, please hit that like button down below. Also be sure and comment and let me know if there's something else that you'd like to see me do. Uh, and if it's your first time here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Aside from that, I'll catch you guys next time. Uh, any reason I want to get this slow mo shot right here. <laughs> All up in my face. I wonder how much hair I lost on that deal. Let's have a look.